be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily wrestling videos. Now let's go ahead and dive into today's wrestling news. WWE appears to be hyping the potential that Ronda Rousey will be unable to compete at Money in the Bank. At the time, the Money in the Bank premium appears to be rather depleted. Due to low ticket sales, the performance was forced to relocate from Allegiant Stadium to the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Then it was revealed that Roman Reigns would no longer be appearing on the show. Furthermore, Cody Rhodes will be absent from the night due to WWE announcement that he will be out of action for nine months following surgery. Is it possible that the event will suffer yet another major setback? Ronda Rousey was attacked by Natalia after her victory over Shotzi on the June 10 episode of SmackDown. Rousey was placed in a sharpshooter, but analysts claim she never tapped or quit. Kayla Braxton was subsequently seen outside the medical area where Rousey was being checked up by WWE. The injury is bad enough, according to Braxton, that it's now unclear whether Rousey will be able to compete at Money in the Bank. While this is most likely a plot injury, Rousey missing Money in the Bank is a possibility. Because of the gimmick of ladder bouts, WWE believes Money in the Bank can exist without major superstars. Alexa Bliss is no stranger to tag teams and many fans are wondering if she'll partner up with Liv Morgan anytime soon. Bliss competed in a fatal four-way match on Monday Night Raw on June 6 to decide the number one challenger for the Raw Women's Championship. Morgan was also in the contest, and she and Bliss collaborated on several occasions against Rhea Ripley and Dowdrop. Rhea was victorious in the end. Alexa Bliss reacted to reports that she could team up with Liv Morgan in a WWE interview, saying, Of course. My past has shown that I don't do too well with tag teams. Somehow, I always end up having major falling outs with my tag team partners. But I think it would be a lot of fun to tag with Liv, especially cause she's super talented. We've all seen videos of her in the ring. She gets this energy from somewhere I don't even know because I drink so much caffeine a day and I still can't get to her level of energy, so kudos for that. She's super talented, yeah, it would be a lot of fun to tag with Liv and it was fun working with her in the fatal four-way match. Sometimes, even though you're against someone you gotta work with them to take down the people who are a little bit stronger, a little bit more powerful, but, yeah, I think it would be a lot of fun. Page will soon be leaving WWE. The former two-time WWE Divas Champion announced her departure from the company, which will be effective after July 7. In a statement, Page expressed her gratitude to WWE for giving her an opportunity. She ended the announcement by promising she will return to the ring someday. Page here. July 7th will be the last day with WWE. I'm so thankful and I appreciate the opportunities that the company has given me. I will always be appreciative of the company that took in an 18-year-old British pale emo girl that didn't look like your average diva, giving me the chance of a lifetime and making me feel like a superstar. I know after my neck injury taking me out of in-ring status, it was pretty hard to keep me around for as long as you did, and for that I'm thankful too. Thank you to the WWE Universe. You guys are the most passionate group of fans I've ever seen. Hope you continue to stay on this journey with me. I think the toughest part weirdly enough is having to let the page name go. But Saria is hell of a name. Kudos to my mum for that one. FYI I'm not saying I'll never be in the ring. That day will most certainly come again. Wherever the return may be. Thank you WWE, Saria. Well thanks for watching guys, we will see you in the next wrestling video.